is another hot day in the desert. But I want to tell you something. It's the desert. It's supposed to be hot. There's no trees. There's no shade. There's just bright sun beating down all day. And I know that they are trying to scare everybody. I've gotten phone calls. I've gotten text. I've gotten emails. I'm okay. I was expecting this. And there are things that I do to make it bearable. And y'all know some of those things. One of them is I just stay in the house and do stuff. <laughs> uh, keep my hands busy, which also keeps my mind busy. And I wanted to share with you some of the things I made this week. I am attempting to use up the materials that I had on hand. Uh, one of those things was a lampshade. Um, whenever that thing is on, and it's my go-to light in the evening, and it, the bulb was always like, you, you, it was like you wanted to wear a hat. And so I made that. And I made it out of three different leftover pieces of cotton yarn that I had. So, it ain't beautiful, but it is very functional. Uh, what else did I make? I have made one of two gnomes that I'm going to send to a friend. She's worried about paying me, and I'm like, the payment is, is that I do this in love. So, the whole time I'm building and designing and crocheting, I'm doing it with that in mind. Uh, you also saw where I have learned to crochet the Tanzanian style. And it turns out, I thought it was going to be faster. Number one, it's not faster. It takes me the same amount of time. Number two, I also wanted to see what the fabric was once you have done that stitch and it is very close to being knit it looks like knit where crochet tends to not have that flow to it the Tanzanian does so I was happy with that I wanted you to talk to Buddy too <laughs> but he moved <laughs> trying to get my camera angle right <laughs> so what else did I do this week I made a skirt slash slip out of a antique, I guess they call it vintage now. They don't say antique very often anymore. It's vintage um, linen towel. And I love it. I, it was so easy to make. I did not have to hem it. It was already hemmed. And I literally sewed two seams down the side and didn't have to finish them because they were a selvage edge. And then I just put elastic, made a casing and put elastic in it. So it was very simple and it is very comfortable, very cool. I'm very happy with it. So that was the other part of what you got to see. And as you saw, it takes that short dress <laughs> and it makes it a little bit longer. So that's nice. I haven't actually tried it under the... Well, oh, pumpkin. They called that a pumpkin color. Which brings me to my last couple of videos. Guilty. I didn't even... I didn't even read the comments. But thank you. So many of you are praying for me. And I am very grateful for that because I don't do these things well under normal circumstances. And I tried again to talk to the title lady. She called. Did she call me? She finally called me. Yes. And they're insisting the main thing I have to have 
is a original copy of Bob's death certificate, which I got Sarah to help me. And she went, she looked, and now we've contacted an attorney because they don't just give out death certificates to people. As far as Bob's marital status and the woman that he was married to, I still don't know her name. I don't have her information. And I keep thinking, why do I have to do this? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I don't do these things well. When I got a deed with my name on it after paying taxes, I paid taxes on it the first year, and I've paid on it two years since then. So the taxes, the, the property is in my name. It, it just never occurred to me that they were not doing what they were supposed to do. So there's that. Sarah contacted the attorney on Friday. Today is Sunday. So I won't know anything for a while. I do know this. My closing date, which was set for August 21st, not August, July, July 21st, is this coming week. Obviously, I'm not going anywhere. So, everything has been functioning properly. It is very intensely hot because it is. It's summer in the desert. And I, I've not struggled with the heat more than I did last year or the year before or the year before or the year before. I've been here five summers. Is that right? Is this my fifth or sixth summer in Arizona? And I don't normally get monsoons this far north. What I have is that I live at a higher elevation. So I'm guessing it, there's a couple of degrees difference. Not a lot because I'm not that high up. I'm only at like 3,500 feet. But it's way cooler here than it is, say, down in Bullhead. Is that Bullhead City? Bullhead? I think that's it. Anyway, you know, you go down in elevation, it gets hotter. Not my problem. I don't do that. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. My father knows when he placed me here how long I would be here and what it would take to get me to where I need to be next. And I hope that it is with my grandchildren back east where it rains. So, you know, that I have come up with that whole saying, everybody's got rattlesnakes. Things that just scare you and you don't know what to do. And weather is one of those things. We can't get out of it. And they've been manipulating our weather since the 60s. So it's not going to stop. It might move to somewhere else that they're doing it. Now, the night times they're predicting will be in like the 80s. I'm comfortable at 80, <laughs> especially if I'm sleeping. Um, and I got a little fan. Y'all seen my little fans, right? These are my little fans. It's my nighttime. It's my nighttime fan. And look, It can also be my daytime fan, but I love these, and they last for really uh, a lot of a lot of use because they run almost 24 hours a day to help circulate the cool air, and I aim them towards appliances so that, like my refrigerator, 
when it's running, there's heat. So it kind of blows out the front door. So I'm surviving out here, I, and I don't think it's, it's not really, um, I know they're saying it's like unprecedented. No, it's not. At least it hadn't been unprecedented in the last five years that I've been here. So I just have uh, about another six weeks to survive out here with the heat and the wind. Oh, oh y'all, it's the most odd thing. You go out and the wind's blowing real hard with that heat and you can't hardly see. It's, you know, our eyeballs are moist. And literally, it was, they said that it was over 100 degrees yesterday. It was like 106 with humidity 7, 7%. Most of y'all only ever heard of 7% humidity if you were in an oven. So it gives the illusion that it's really more comfortable. The hardest work I've done has been crocheting, learning a new technique. And I've got a lot of yarn. I've got a lot of time. And I need to get this yarn made up into something and I have a very large project that I'm not going to mention because it's a surprise. I would like to thank those people who send me things in the mail. Thank you for your cards, your letters. So I am a little uncomfortable and I was made in America and we don't like that. We don't want to be uncomfortable. <laughs> But I've adjusted, and I'll be okay. And I hope that y'all were being okay. I hope that some of you went and looked at that video that I linked to about the Agenda 2030. Y'all, that's real. You know, the, um, the thing they did, the Agenda 2020, or Agenda 21, uh, a, a, a few years back, all of those things were accomplished. And now there's an Agenda 2030. And it has to do with, they say, we're doing all this. We're making it hotter. We're making it rain more. And then they say, well, as long as we've been taking records, it's never flooded like this. Well, you've been taking records for a hundred years. <laughs> Whoop-de-hoo. And there is evidence of our planet changing. Imagine. It changes because it's living. It's breathing. It has living things on it for the moment. Speaking of living things, I had what is referred to as a kangaroo rat. It's like a big mouse. And apparently it hops like a kangaroo, they say. Well, Mona kept sitting over here looking at the wall like something was going on. And I went out and it, it's about this big, bigger than a chipmunk, but not fuzzy. And it was down in my batteries, making a house. So I have half dealt with it. And you can't keep these things out. And my wires down there still look okay. I hate that they call it a rat, a kangaroo rat. Gives you the impression of something entirely different than what's happening. Well, y'all, I think that's all there is today. So, more projects coming up, more crochet, because I am working on gnomes. You saw one, I got the other one sitting over here, getting ready to make the hat. That's the fun part. And then there'll be, I just remembered, I sent Isaac his birthday present. And here is Isaac opening his birthday present. I think that he liked it. And I'm going to let you go for now, and I will see you on Wednesday. I love y'all.
the sun kiss your face May there always be a miracle waiting Just to bless your day Life will always hang rosy Don't let it get you down Keep your eyes on what your gold is And your feet on solid ground Take this with you Where you go You are love, 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 love Trouble comes and it will 